Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know, my name is Sylvia Ndabai. For those that are watching this video for the first time, you're welcome. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for the love on all my previous videos. You guys are the real MVPs, I mean. <laughs> so for today's video, I'll be talking about, I'll give you guys the gist about, you guys, you, you do not, you do not want to miss this gist so um i'll be giving you guys a gist about how i got stranded in another man's land you guys i was stranded in a whole new country in a place where in fact i was stranded in dubai guys so um actually i'm getting ready for like I'm getting ready to go out so I'll be making myself up while I give you guys the gist and the tea. So I've already moisturized my face so I want to apply um, the primer on my face while I give you guys the full gist. Yeah. So, um, I want to, okay, guys, this story is a, where do I start from? Okay, apparently you guys already saw my, for those that have not seen my Dubai vlog, please go and watch it. I'll link, I'll link it somewhere around here or here or down here or I do not know where, but I'll link it somewhere around. So if you have not seen that, please go watch it out. From my Dubai vlog, you notice I traveled with my friend, went to Dubai together and if I, for my birthday. And on this particular day, guys, we were out of cash. We we're out of both dollar and we we're also out of the currency that is used in Dubai. Damn, yeah. So um, apparently this day we were trying to like get cash and all. We had just a few cash left. The, the cash we had with us was basically just was going to be enough to take us to the mall. So the plan was we were going to be going to the mall, you know. We used the last cash we had with us to take a taxi to the mall and then try to get a way to get dollar. You know try to get a way to get the dollar and then after getting dollar we use we change the dollar to them and i didn't have a dollar card obviously i'm a nigerian i make use of naira card yes so i went to the mall i tried to you know i visited a store at the mall where i i thought i could like exchange naira to dollar or i can exchange naira to the currency used in dubai so apparently we went and then we went to this store where we thought we could get the um cash and then we went they didn't apparently we couldn't do that so we were, we actually tried to we reached out to someone actually we met someone at the mall the person actually told us where we could actually go to change the naira to the currency used in Dubai, which is the the um, you guys, I don't even know how to pronounce it very well, but you know the gist. So we went. The person told us where we could get the cash, where we could change naira to dollar. But at this at this time, guys, we already exhausted the cash we had with us. Like there was no way we could even go back. Like there was no way we could get a taxi to go back, and then. We actually had like just very few cash with us. Our plan was, you know, we go out, try to find a taxi around that would, you know, that we could stop and probably, you know, negotiate with the taxi, you know, at least to get us back to our hotel safely because we're out of cash, we're out of internet, we're out of everything, guys. We're literally out of everything. 
and we were at the mall thinking we could get this cash so apparently we met a nigerian guy at the mall and we actually thought he could help us out you know try to book a taxi on his phone but then he kept he gave us food you guys you see this thing that people say about um nigerians in diaspora or yeah nigerians in diaspora minding their business it is real low it is true this man this guy did not even listen to us like he kept giving us stories and you know he gave excuses that he couldn't his phone he can't as, um, assess the app you know and we're like i mean just get us a taxi because we tried you know getting a taxi from outside the mall but then all the taxis we were seeing they were like we needed to book through the app meanwhile remember i already said that we were out of data and we we're also out of cash there was no even way we could use cash to get data or there was no even way we could get a we, we could use cash to get back to our hotel at least where we you know we feel safe plus there's also wi-fi in the hotel you know free wi-fi for people that lodged in the hotel but then at the same time there was no way we came to dubai and we had like few more days to go we could not just you know go back to the hotel and stay all through the time like doing nothing so we still needed to get cash apparently at the end of the day we met some nigerian guys in front of the mall they were also trying to get taxis and they were the saving grace for the day so they got their taxi the taxi dropped them off at their place the taxi dropped them off at their house and then i mean after he dropped them off at their place he the taxi also took us to the hotel to our hotel yeah where we were lodged and then yeah at least we felt a bit safe so we collected the number of the nigerian guy that helped us out at the mall we collected his number and then reached out to him you know to thank him for helping us out and then we also explained to him that we needed a way to get cash that we could spend in you know dubai so um he gave us a contact that we could reach out to that a contact that could change naira to dubai currency yeah in dubai so that was our saving this for that day we got the currency we changed naira we transferred and then we got our cash but you guys at the end of the day moral lesson from this particular story is that in if you are traveling to anywhere you've never been to, be, been to before make sure you go with enough cash like more than enough cash because we thought we had enough cash to spend but at the end of the day the cash got exhausted in like two to three days or four days i can't really remember and then we were stranded like i mean nobody see if you feel like you see a nigerian that will help you ah nigerians in the abroad oh my god they, they they literally mind their business they don't they cannot even help you out like to the extent that the person we met at the mall that we thought could help us out he he actually told us that he couldn't connect his phone couldn't connect to my phone like i tried to use my phone to connect to like his wi-fi to you know try to get in data on my phone but then I don't know what he did but the hotspot wasn't even connected i was like what's going on okay please help us out you know with getting a taxi he said he has an issue with his app i'm like the things you said to me don't hold me far oh. I'm like, please, you guys. So that's the moral lesson of this story. Then there was this other time we were stranded in dubai this same dubai another day we're not literally stranded stranded like that but i can call that being stranded because 
we we had just finished our boat cruise in like at the dubai marina but then we had just finished our boat cruise in dubai marina and you know everybody came out from the cruise and several people entering their buses and we take them to their hotel and we we were just two ladies from Nigeria, two Nigerian ladies from nowhere that don't know what <laughs> they came to Dubai to do, you guys. We were just there, you know. Apparently, my data finished again, like my internet finished again. Mind you, there was no way I could use my Nigerian SIM card in Dubai to um, access internet. But then, at the, at the airport, we already got like um, a SIM card that they use in Dubai and then bought some um, data on the card. But then it finished. So on that particular day, it also finished and then it was really late. I think it was like past 11 or 12 or so. And then everybody that was on the same boat with us, on the same cruise with us, we saw them leave right at our like... They were leaving, everybody left, and we're literally like the only two people walking, <laughs> trying to get a taxi. We're trying to see if we could get like a taxi around. But then in Dubai, it's really hard to get a taxi, you know, that you could just call around. Most of them always like to, you know, book. You, they always like you to like book through the app you get. So that was how we couldn't book through the app because there was no internet like my internet got exhausted like i said before so apparently we tried we walked around and then we met a dubai citizen i guess Amazing. yeah we had to beg him you know try to explain to him and then he called a taxi for us i don't know i think it's a thing in dubai like we actually asked him for like internet so we could book it on our phone you know connect through um our phone my phone and then you know book the taxi through my phone but then i don't know he kept giving stories i think there's something in dubai where you know internet the, people are always very careful you know using like anything phone you know internet it's very they are very very careful in dubai most people do not like to like share hotspot they do not like to like connect to other people's phones i feel like they are what do you think please drop a comment yeah what you think about that or if you have like any idea why most people in dubai not just like um nigerian cities like basically everybody in dubai tend to be careful with you know connecting you know their phones like connecting you know with other people's phone if you if you have any idea why this is so please i would really like you to you know drop a comment down in this comment section here so back to my story so on that particular night we're able to get the we're able to the the um the person we met he couldn't give us or connect Wi-Fi with us, but then he was able to get a taxi. Although we waited for like almost 20 to 30 minutes to the taxi, to the taxi, you know, arrived. We were even scared that are you sure they don't want to kidnap us or they didn't, they don't want to call someone that you know now kidnap us and carry us because we we're just two lonely ladies in Dubai all alone. So um yeah. Apparently, the taxi came and he took us to our hotel safe and sound, guys. Took us back to our hotel safe and sound. And yeah, that's basically it. So that was how we were able to, you know, get back safely on that day. And yeah, let me finish up with my makeup, you guys. This story has made me... This story has made me... I'm too slow in this makeup already. So, I would finish up with my makeup and I would get back. Let your love be magical. Let me make it to get vegan. Yeah. Guys, I am done with my makeup. So, I am about to attach my hair extension I got from... Actually, guys, these this extensions, I got them from Ponytail store. 
Ng, and it looks it still looks really nice you guys i've worn this for like i've worn this like about three to four times and it's still looking this i mean so i'm going to attach this to my hair and yeah i'll show you guys the finished look if you be my guys this is the finished look and i must say this hair is really amazing like to say i've used this hair like almost five times is is in fact and it's still looking this although it's a bit rough but then it's still looking you know pretty okay yeah so this we have come to the end of this video oh before i forget i'll be putting the link to the instagram page where i got this hair in the description box below so do well to you know patronize them um ponytail store that's ng shout out to them and yeah thank you guys so much for this for you know watching to this extent and don't forget to like this video don't don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to Give this video a thumbs up drop a comment below what you think about you know my story time and about you know being stranded in dubai you know having um you know being stranded in dubai in dubai and not having enough cash you know what do you think about you know such situation yeah so until my next one guys see you bye guys